All right, so in this video, I want to talk about the OLED and the PC because uh, I know a lot of you are concerned. Hey, you know, if I buy an OLED, uh, is it feasible for me to be connecting my PC to an OLED? Look, I have used it. I've been using it for almost 11 months now. I haven't had any issues. There are precautions you can take. There are tips you can take to prevent your unnecessary static imagery retention and burn-in. All you have to do is go to your energy savings, select your TV. If it's idle, if it's not moving, if there's no image moving on your television, it's going to dim down automatically and it's going to shut down after 10 minutes. There are precautions you can take if you're worried about that. But in terms of connecting my PC to an OLED, it really works well and surprisingly well. Uh, even the mouse, using the mouse and moving it around works se uh, seemingly fast. I haven't had any issues. Uh, I played a bunch of games on it. Uh, now when it comes to when it comes to using the HDR, there's a couple of things I want to talk about here. When it comes to using your HDR on your OLED, okay, there's a couple of things that you need to do first to to appreciate this HDR on your PC at all times. The first thing is obviously you have to make sure that your that your OLED light and your contrast is set to maximum. Okay, this is like the only way you'll be able to utilize this HDR picture quality on your PC, okay? Yes, the uh, HDR is gonna run on your PC as long as you are turning it on. As long as you leave it on, it's gonna run. So keep your OLED light at maximum and your contrast at maximum. I would also suggest that you keep your sharpness at four okay because this is a PC you'll be sitting a little bit closer the color you want to leave the color at 50 you want to leave your color temperature at default middle zero and this is the important part right here turn your dynamic contrast off you already have OLED light you already have uh, contrast and OLED light set to maximum turn this off turn dynamic color off leave the color gamut at wide, turn the super resolution off. The only thing you should turn on is your dynamic tone mapping and here's the reason why. When you turn it off it dims down. When you turn it back on it brightens it up a little bit. So leave it on, leave the dynamic tone mapping on. Okay. Now once you have done this, once you have utilized this on your OLED TV, the next step, the next important step is for you to go right click on your mouse and click on your display settings okay forget the Nvidia control panel that's only if you want to adjust the uh, graphic graphical settings and performance on the display settings this is where your display adapter is click on the display settings make sure that you turn this on okay make sure that you turn it on this is the important part turn it on once you have this turned on the next important part is right above it see where it says Windows and HD color settings right above it right here where it says Windows and HD color settings click on it okay so turn this on this is for you to you uh, turn on the UHD color okay so you have your UHD color turned on now click the Windows HD color settings right above it it tells you what TV you have, it tells you that you can stream HDR, you can play HDR games and apps that support HDR like Netflix and Amazon, etc, etc. Uh, and down here is where you need to turn, the last step, you need to turn your SDR content and periods all the way high. The reason it looks so dimmed down to majority of people, it's because it stays at the default. When you originally turn this on, 
it stays at the default level and this is why you're not experiencing any HDR you're like well isn't this supposed to be brighter why is my picture so dim down that's because when you turn on the Windows HDR it automatically stays at the default dimmed uh, level value so what you need to do you need to move it up and you'll see how brighter is gonna be remember HDR needs that brighter brighter contrast on the paper white so you gotta turn that sucker all the way high once you turn it all the way high leave it and exit and you're pretty much good to go you can enjoy HDR right now we can go and go to YouTube and select some HDR HDR or Dolby Vision or HLG this thing supports all of it and we can enjoy it so let's go ahead let's test it let's go to uh, YouTube and let's uh, test some uh, HDR content shall we okay so we're gonna go to my channel and we're gonna click on uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 PC this was recorded in HDR and, and 4k 30 so this video this is the London attack part 2 video so we're gonna click on it and you will see the HDR will pop immediately with the 4k you see it says HDR there it is and you can hear me talking obviously so I'm gonna turn that down a little bit there it is right here we're gonna click it to uh, hold on I don't know why it's only uh, saying 14 I don't know it's still processing this is still processing so well anyway we'll click on this one over here we'll click on this one right here this one's already processed as you can see this one it's in 21 2160p HDR 4k clearly you can see it right there there it is HDR 4k and you can see that it's running in HDR right uh, right here so this is how you enjoy the HDR on your OLED uh, for the PC okay I've been using it it seems to work pretty good for me uh, I've been watching a bunch of content bunch of movies bunch of stuff with uh, PC PC is a really great <laughs> hardware for HDR and the NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards are really great for HDR as well and 4k so we can put this into a full screen if you like uh, there it is and this is HDR right now you're looking at the HDR uh, this is something that I have recorded all right now we can try maybe something else maybe we can try a different video that supports HDR there is the aquarium HDR by the way I apologize you cannot watch Dolby Vision uh, on on the PC PC which is surprisingly strange that they're not supporting uh, Dolby Vision on the PC I think one of the greatest updates that Windows should have it should be Dolby Vision I think PC games sh could I mean PC games will benefit greatly with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos which is surprisingly strange that we don't have that yet but you can see there's HDR and, and you can see that the guy has HDR 4k it, it supports as, as long as you see that HDR badge you know that's an HDR okay you know that this is a HDR content as you can see it looks pretty good looks very detailed runs great so yeah man um, I played a bunch of games through my PC uh, on HDR 4k and it looks really great especially if your graphics card can handle uh, really good graphics and then you add native 4k with HDR you're truly going to appreciate that on the OLED uh, you know big time so let's go try another uh, video here so this is Morocco HDR you see it says HDR right here 2160p 60 HDR I'll click on that put in the full screen looks fantastic but remember this looks much much better in person than what you guys are seeing in 
or on camera here it's hard for camera to depict what I'm seeing the colors will not be accurate on the camera lenses okay uh, that's something that that this is something that I see happening on YouTube people are judging televisions people are judging every panel based on what they're seeing through camera lens your camera lens cannot depict the accurate color portrayal of what your eyes retina will see in person when you see it okay this is why I tell people you got to see this in person to truly appreciate it right monkey right 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 um, so <clears throat> if you are judging this television based on this video then you know that's really kind of uh, silly because I'm not making this video to show you how something looks I'm making this video just to, to give you a tutorial on how to appreciate HDR when you are connecting your PC to a when, uh, when you're connecting your PC to your OLED okay and please don't worry about it burning guys I've been using this this television and this PC bunch of different PCs bunch of different devices on this uh, OLED for almost 11 months you think by now something would have happened right so let's go try a game let's go try one game really quick uh, while we're here really quick let's jump into uh, let's jump into a multiplayer Call of Duty Black I mean Call of Duty Modern Warfare and you're gonna see that uh, the HDR will turn on immediately as soon as we go to the uh, our game here you will see when we go to the uh, Blizzard Battle Net click play on it you will see the HDR will turn automatically just give it give it some time and you're gonna see the HDR logo go right in there it is there's the HDR logo right there right there you see it so let's jump into a, a a multiplayer shall we let's go jump right away into it let's do a quick play All right, there we go. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. One of the cool things about playing Call of Duty Play, uh, Modern Warfare on the PC is the fact that you can play cross-platform with other players who are playing a PlayStation or Xbox version. So that's kind of cool that they have that ability. All right, so here we go. So here we go. As you can see, it looks great. No issues with the HDR, runs smooth. Now, as far as the performance, guys, I'm getting roughly maybe 38 to 40 frames per second, but that's okay. I'm okay with 38 and 40, uh, but at least I get to enjoy this level of detail, okay? But see, I can score. I, I can, I can win. I can play. You know, and it looks good. Now, normally, I would suggest that you switch to a 1440p, 120 hertz, on your QLED, if you want to be competitive. But if you want that fidelity, if you want that detail, you're definitely gonna get it here with this, uh, with this OLED TV and a PC version. Okay. And it looks really great. Look at that smoke. Look how beautiful that looks, man. And this is a multiplayer. Uh, PC version really shines here. If you have an NVIDIA, if you have a PC, uh, you're really going to be blown away by just how beautiful the multiplayer maps are here. And then if you have OLED and you connect your PC to OLED, uh, you're only going to have much, much better experience, obviously. Uh, the consoles cannot really 
achieve right now what, what the PC is doing, you know. Yes, it looks great for what council can do, but let's be let's be honest. We got to be honest here. You know, uh, if you have a powerful PC, uh, there's really not much that PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One X can do to dominate what you got here on the PC. Okay. Oh my bad. I got him. But as you can see, I can play, no issues. I got a great level of detail here on this OLED with the HDR and 4K. It runs pretty darn good. I'm using my uh, Elite controller. There it is. Everything's turned on. Uh, Real-time ray tracing, it's on, as you can see. You can definitely see the reflection down there. Real-time ray tracing, it's on. Someone was telling me, oh, there's no reflections. Well, there they are. There's your reflections. All right. So there you have it. You know, I hope this video helps you out a little bit. For those of you who might be interested in... Uh, playing your Call of Duty Modern Warfare on your PC if you choose to do so. Okay, so I just wanted to do this short little quick video even though I already have spoke about this previously but I figured why not kind of uh, refresh it a little bit more and, and talk about it and give you my uh, settings that I'm using. For those of you who are not familiar, maybe you want to connect your PC to OLED. If you follow these steps that I just showed you, I think you're going to appreciate the way this game looks. And um, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was informative. Have a good one, though. I'm just here to give you some information, correct information. I'm not here to BS you. I'm not here to to put on a mask and hide behind something. I'm just here to tell you what you need to do to truly appreciate and enjoy a good level of detail on your OLED if you have a PC. Okay? That's only if you have a PC. If you don't, well, then, you know, it is what it is. All right, guys. Well, have a good one, though. Take care.